Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to compare a flagship from 2019, the uh, Samsung 10 S10e versus the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Both came out in 2019, both are on the latest software update, so Android 11 and here it is uh, Harmony OS 2.0 and I want to do a comparison in terms of camera, which of those very cheap devices nowadays you can still trust in terms of camera and which one has the better camera system. So let's get started. To start off this comparison I try out the main back camera on the Samsung S10, Galaxy S10e, this is the full name and I think it has a very small tiny sensor in comparison to nowadays uh, sensors on smartphones but it's still I think a pretty good one especially as there's OIS support, electronic image stabilization which is pretty good on Samsung devices and I think it also has good HDR and natural colors. You know? maybe not so natural more boosted colors but in video mode I think it is okay. What do you think about the main camera on the S10e? And uh, while testing the S10e's uh, main camera I can also switch to the ultra wide angle which I will do. So I have the possibility to just go here to the ultra wide angle and now I'm at the ultra wide angle and you can see that there's a lot more to see here. Is it a bit dark? The sun is behind me, so how good is the HDR? Is my face still exposed or is it too dark? And such things are very important, of course, depending on how you are using your camera. Now my face should be directly in the sun and at least you should see me right now. And yeah, this is the quality that you can get, 1080p 30 frames per second. But of course the Samsung can also do 4K and uh, yeah, we will try this. I will of course then scale it down to 1080p but you can see maybe there's some slight difference in terms of stabilization, colors and maybe frame rate as well. So let's take a look at 4K. The thing with the Samsung Galaxy S10e is that you can do 4K up to 60 frames per second also on, on the ultra wide angle that I'm using right now but I can also um, recording with 4K, go to the main camera here and it's zooming in nicely as you can see here and yeah this is I think a very interesting and good camera system even for 2021 it has all the bells and whistles even if the camera sensors are not the biggest I think some of the software is so good that you really have fun using this a little smartphone uh, for its cameras. The only downside probably is the yeah, smallish battery on the Galaxy S10e that would lead to yeah, subpar battery life especially if you use the camera a lot and in this higher resolutions like 4k 60 frames per second or 30 frames per seconds. And of course the Galaxy S10e also has a front-facing camera that can shoot uh, up to 4K 60 frames per second as well. So this is something that nowadays is very very rare even in flagship phones uh, to see a 4K on the front-facing camera. I'm just looking at Xiaomi and some others. So this is uh, the Galaxy S10e's uh, front-facing camera video that also is uh, quite stabilized. Is the autofocus well, there might be even autofocus in this one which might be also very good for vlogging if you want to vlog. Let's check again by seeing if it's focusing on this screen. Is it? I think it is focusing. So there is focusing on the front facing camera as well which is I think for yeah, for this kind of vlogging situation where you can see yourself is a very nice addition and something that the Galaxy S10e has in terms of camera systems that the Mate 30 Pro lacks. But apropos Mate 30 Pro, let's take a look at the Mate 30 Pro's uh, cameras and see how they perform in terms of video. So now we are on the Mate 30 Pro's ultra wide angle camera or cine lens camera because it has something special a cinematic lens camera which is a little bit wider than the default main camera and it is using it by default for creating videos so what I want to do right now is show you also the main camera which has a little bit of 
Yeah, has it a larger sensor? I think not. I think this has the larger sensor with one over 1.54 and the other one is the one over 1.7 because it's zoomed in a little bit more. You get a nice background blur. So let's try this. First of all, let's go here and I'll show you a little bit of this beautiful HDR working and in the background you might hear thunder going on. This is the main lens now and now let's go to me and here you can see me now with the main lens and you can see a nice background blur probably because the main lens is a bit closer to my face due to the photo length but also because then you get like a nice background blur as well because of the photo length. And yeah, this is the main lens on the Mate 30 Pro. And what I want to do now as well is show you that there's another sensor that you can use, despite the fact uh, this might be not the best sensor. It is there in comparison to the Samsung one, which only has two sensors, the ultra wide and the main sensor. There's also a zoom lens on the Mate 30 Pro. So what I will do now is maybe zoom in on this sign. So it roughly kicks in at Three times zoom there we have it 3.4 times zoom and now we have the zoom sensor which is working fine you can also use it for video as you can see here without much difference another thing which is nice on all of those cameras especially also on the samsung one is that all have autofocus so you have the possibility to hold something in front of the camera just like i'm using the ultra wide angle right now and i can hold my samsung s10e here uh, in front of the camera and it should focus on the lock screen in this case where i have to enter my pin and yeah this is what you can get in terms of back facing cameras on the mate 30 pro what you want to do now is try out the front facing camera now the front facing camera video of the mate 30 pro and this one looks also pretty nice has good stabilization i think also high dynamic range is okay but it's not as good as the samsung galaxy s10e i think it is a bit closer up for vlogging maybe not so bad but it doesn't have auto focusing so if i have my the samsung galaxy s10 here here e here and hold it in you can see it's not getting auto focusing it's just like exposing on the black and now exposing on my face again and uh, yeah this is not the best and what you might also notice is that it's not 4k because this is only 1080p 30 frames per second that you can get with the mate 30 pro on the front facing camera so let's test out 4k on the back facing camera of the mate 30 pro to see if this can compete with the samsung so here's now the 4K 30 frames per second video of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro's back main cine lens. And of course I can also go to the main lens here as well. So I can just simply take this over here. You can see where I'm walking and we will switch to the one time uh, camera right now. And this is the one time camera of the Mate 30 Pro running in 4k it started raining a little bit this is why i think high dynamic range tests are not working as good here but uh, yeah this is what you can expect in terms of 4k it can go up to 4k 60 frames per second it's a bit unfortunate that the front facing camera has no 4k at all which is like yeah some kind of uh, illness that all new cameras or camera phones or smartphones in general some kind of suffer from so if you want 4k front facing video there are only a few camera sensors or cameras or smartphones that you can choose from and yeah this is not one of them uh, let's take a look at the cameras of those both devices and i will blend in some camera specifications of the galaxy s10e and the mate 30 pro so you can see with what you have to deal here and of course what we will also do is now a photo comparison it's a bit of unfair because we have one sensor more on the back of the uh, mate 30 pro but nevertheless let's get going the photos on the left we have the samsung galaxy s10e and on the right we have the huawei mate 30 pro so what we can see here on the first picture is already a trend that you can see throughout all the pictures the samsung is yeah raising up the shadows 
and the Huawei has like dimming down more contrast, more 3D kind of look. So it is a bit darker and the Samsung always a bit brighter. What we can see here also on the first picture is in terms of detail level, I think Samsung is always doing it with the sharpening filter. And we have a warmer color on the Huawei and a more cooler tone on the Samsung. But you can see clearly here the Samsung is using some sharpening filter that's sharpening everything up and it might look nice here in terms of sharpness but it is like hmm, overdoing it. When we take a look at the shadows it's raising the shadows but not really adding some new detail into this. You can see already that there is some noise creeping in simply because the Samsung sensor is a little bit smaller. Not a little bit, a big time smaller. And you can see this also clearly when you take close-up shots like of this little flower here and uh, you can have a lot better background blur with a larger 1 over 1.7 inch sized sensor on the Mate 30 Pro and if I zoom in you can see here it looks just simply nice like these are DSLR like and here on the Samsung looks like ugh, <laughs> like sharpening applied too much that you can even see it in the background blur that there's sharpening going on so yeah this is something that you can see throughout all the photos when you take a look at the HDR stuff um, here we can see clearly again I think Samsung has a slightly edge in HDR but it is brightening up everything and when you take a look at the goal here and the little football field yeah it is not as sharp on the um, Huawei Huawei by the way has uh, 10 megapixel roughly it's like taking the 50 megapixels and uh, uh, counting it down to uh, 50 or 40 megapixels counting it down to uh, the 10 megapixels and uh, Samsung has uh, 12 megapixels uh, it's sharpening up everything so it might look on the first glance ah, Samsung is better but no it is just a bit uh, brighter and sharpening things up but when it comes to realistic kind of thing the football field is a little bit more um, yeah, used up as you can see on the Huawei and the Samsung is like brightening it, brightening it up a bit too much in terms of colors uh, HDR you can also see here clearly the blue sky is like almost painted and it looks more realistic on the Huawei. Mm, I don't want to even start talking about the edges here because it's like uh, you can see the quality of a lens also at the edges you can see the Samsung here has applied some sharpening and it's not very sharp and here the Huawei has better colors and is sharper. The ultra wide angle you can see the Samsung one has a lot wider angle than the Huawei. I think the Huawei is only what is it 18 millimeters and I think it is 14 millimeters or 16 millimeters on the Samsung but what we can see clearly also is here that there's a bigger much bigger sensor and a much um, more megapixels on the ultra wide angle of the Huawei and this beats simply also the 16 I think it is megapixels on the um, Samsung Samsung again over sharpening over doing it and uh, also painting the sky and when we take a look at the the sides here on the ultra wide angle it is <laughs> both nasty but I think clearly that the Samsung is like a little bit more nasty than the uh, Huawei. Talking about HDR here we can see another shot HDR this is the ultra wide angle against uh, the uh, ultra wide angle and here we can also clearly see a bit more contrast this time on the uh, the uh, Samsung. We can see a little bit of uh, clouds here and blue that is completely lost on the Huawei. So this is why I think maybe there is something going on in terms of HDR where the Samsung for some reason is a bit better or more aggressive. But when it comes to sharpen sharpness, uh, you can see yeah the ultra wide angle is uh, you can forget it on the Samsung basically for nowadays photography if you compare it like this. Uh, let's go to the next shot which is this one again I think the more pleasant to the eye look is the Samsung on this uh, one and the more darkish dullish is the one on the Huawei but the Huawei is more realistic in terms of colors because here it, is, it wasn't this bright and you can see it's overblowing and getting a bit hazy already and the details are lacking and if I just compare it and want to crop something like this 
uh, on the Huawei. I can do so because it's, the details are there and it looks nice and uh, good. Then we can take a look at the one thing that is missing on the S10e that I think the S10 has is a zoom sensor. So the Huawei has a free time zoom, optical zoom and yeah, the digital one, you can forget it on the Samsung basically. And you can see it also clearly on some other photos. I want to go through all the photos here. Again, here another photo where you can clearly see the background blur much more natural and uh, much more natural looking here as well. Even though the Samsung has more megapixels, it is um, yeah, not as nice to look at as the Huawei one. So in terms of photos, also the bigger sensor can create such nice little blurry effect where you have like the front blurred out, the background blurred out, and in the middle, like a bit of sharpness as you can see here. And if I compare it here, over sharpening like crazy, then brightening up everything a bit, then the the, the the over sharpening brightening up and then the smaller sensor the background blur in the front and the background blur in the back they don't look so good so in general i prefer uh, for these kinds of shots definitely the huawei which is a lot better and uh, another hdr shot here again we can see more hdr effect i think on the samsung so it's doing a better job here but when we take a look at the ultra wide angle this is like a night and day difference ah this was the ultra wide angle on the Huawei already um night and day difference like it's like blue everything here blue the contrast the colors it's unrealistic uh, as hell and uh, again when it comes to sharpness both look fine here you can have more close-up shots with the Samsung because of the more tiny sensor, uh, but the over sharpening, the background blur, it's destroying it. And the, the Huawei one looks almost like photorealistic, like DSLR-like, DSLM-like. So a lot uh, better in this kind of uh, terms. And uh, yeah, here again, maybe HDR shot. We can see that the Samsung is brightening up everything. I would say in this case, also something better, doing a better job here. Um, in terms of HDR when you want to see the colors of this tree and then again a shot three times five times zoom hybrid zoom it's a zoom optical and digital on the Huawei one which looks like this and this is the Samsung one you can see night and day difference again in terms of zoom this is nothing unusual here again we can see a brighter image we can see that sharpening was applied it's a bit soft here on the huawei side of things it's a bit more yellowish on the huawei side of things but in general i think both did a great job in this hdr situation and we have like another situation in terms of colors who is doing the better in terms of colors usually i would say the main sensor on the samsung is not as bad as i would expect it the ultra wide is <laughs> the main sensor is not here i think the huawei one is already doing it with in terms of contrast it's a bit too dark also the red here of the car is a bit too dark it's a bit too yeah too 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 bright on the samsung one but in terms of who has the more realistic colors i think the samsung one nails it a bit better here uh, when it comes to this red car in terms of green not much of a difference again a bit brighter on the samsung but in general the samsung is creating some brighter photos uh, then if you want to take it to extreme eight times soon the maximum on the samsung s10e galaxy s10e nothing to read here on the on the huawei you can at least if you know a bit of german you can <laughs> read here it's clearly uh, readable on the eight times zoom which is like also hybrid zoom i think on the uh huawei then here again hdr might be a bit better on the samsung but samsung is overdoing it with the colors here especially the red is too red and i think it's also not so realistic on the huawei could be a bit, tiny bit brighter but i think it has the better color temperature here at the scene was really looking like this and for what samsung is doing is like creating like the perfect photo but it is very unrealistic and it's over sharpening stuff again and yeah we at the beginning again what do you think who has the better colors who has the better sharpness better details better hdr write it down in the comment section my clear winner here is overall i would say the huawei so this is basically everything for this video 
which one you think is better the Galaxy S10e or the Huawei Mate 30 Pro you can write it down in the comment section especially when it comes to also photos and videos and comparison maybe one is better in videos one is better in photos you can write it down in the comment section which one you think is better I have a clear winner of course because we are, I'm using a camera system a smartphone system from a specific brand that you might know already which I'm using for almost all my videos and cut videos on so I have a clear winner here already but you can have a different opinion you can write it down in the comment section and let me know why especially you like uh, the one over the other that's everything for this video like share and subscribe and until next time bye